Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. And today I thought I'd show you how you can undo changes you make to raw files in NX Studio. Now, changes to raw files are supposed to be non-destructive. And the way they do that is they make the changes in what's called a sidecar file. Uh, Lightroom does this. And Lightroom does this to XMP files. And uh, basically, uh, NX Studio uses an XMP file too, but it has an ending of NKSC. So if we look here in this folder where we have a bunch of pictures, you can see some NEF photos in here, some JPEGs in here, some other um, files in here. This file right here, for example, ends in XMP, and that was created by Lightroom, and it's and it's a file that tells what the changes are to a, to a photograph. So it pretty much gives all of this information about the photograph and any edits that are in it. With NX Studio, it actually is a little bit ni nicer because as you can see, uh, I've used uh, on one raw in this in uh, Lightroom in this directory, and they each have their own sidecar files in here. What NX Studio does is it makes its own folder and uh, puts any files that it uses when it makes a change on a picture in that file. So if we open up this folder, you'll see all of these files and they have the ending NKSC. And these are basically XMP files. If we open one of them, you'll see format is very similar to an XMP file. In fact, it even references uh, XMP as the model for this markup language right here. So this is actually where uh, NX Studio sh saves changes. It saves changes to a file that has the same name as the original file that it's edited, but it appends .nksc to the end of it. All right, so we can actually roll back changes uh, from that file. In fact, if you just remove the file entirely, it would create a new file and it would revert back to just kind of the standard file that it opened to. But if we want to change one or two things back, it's really easy to do. Now, you may have tried to do it before and you may have gone to undo and redo and realize they're grayed out and nothing happens with them. That's because it actually does the undo in a different place. So let's take exposure compensation, for example. If we set the exposure compensation to plus one EV, uh, that's the way it will save it. And when we close out of uh, NX Studio, it will save any changes. And when we open it back up, it will look like this. If we want to change it back, all we have to do is go to the original value. And we can always change it back that way. So the same thing happens with uh, other things that we do when we edit in NX Studio. For example, if we go here to crop, we can actually crop the picture and click proceed. It crops the picture and it will save that, but it saves in the file where the picture was cropped at what X coordinates and how big the picture was cropped. So if we want to go back, all we have to do is go up to where it says current right here and go to original value and it will undo that change. Now the nice thing about that is because it saves the changes in a separate file, which is just a text file, if you come back in and you decide I shouldn't have cropped it that way or I wanted the full original crop, you can actually go back in and you can um, go back to the original value. So that's how you undo changes in NX Studio. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.